You've previously learned how to use hypothesis testing to test a hypothesis on a population mean. This is a very common hypothesis test and we will expect you to have a black belt doing this. However, the principle of hypothesis testing is a much more general principle and you can apply it to testing a number of different statistics or characteristics about a population. In this section, we will introduce you to three additional hypothesis tests. A hypothesis test of a proportion in a population, also a test that compares two means and tests for the equality of means, for instance, of two different means in two different populations. And the third one is a very popular test. It's a test of independence of two categorical random variables where you can test the null hypothesis that they are independent. What's important for you to understand is that all hypothesis tests are based on three very crucial ingredients. And you need these in all hypothesis tests. Firstly, you need a set of hypotheses, a null hypothesis and an alternative hypothesis. The next ingredient will follow from these hypotheses, and in particular, what type of statistics you like here, the population mean you want to test. So you need a test statistic that is appropriate for testing that particular characteristic of the population. And once you know which test statistic to use, you need to know how this test statistic is distributed, assuming the null hypothesis is true. Once you have these three ingredients, in addition to your sample data, you can perform a hypothesis test. And in this section, we will help you to learn how to do this for these additional three hypothesis tests I mentioned earlier.